Have you ever given yeah. any consideration, Hal? Because, hey, tanking works. Astros tanked. Cubs tanked. They won World Series. The, the Orioles have tanked for five years, and now they've got a good, exciting young team. Do you not just think that your fans could take it, or you don't have the stomach for it to, to lose on purpose for four years? Uh, for all the talk that I'm not like my dad in a lot of ways, that, that's one way that I, I'm just like my dad. I, it's not in my DNA. I want to be in the playoffs mm -hmm. every year. I believe if you get into the playoffs, wild card or not, you've got a legitimate shot to make it happen uh, in any given year. And, and our, our fans expect that. You guys know that better than I do. You, you deal with this every day. And uh, my family expects it. Now, it's, not, it's just not a consideration. It's, it's not where we play. It's not the city we play in, and it's not uh, not our fa what our fans want. Does does it bother you, Hal, that as one of the highest generating revenue teams in the league, that you kind of fund the teams that decide to tank and try to get better through losing? Well, let me let me put it this way: and I, I'm not sure what teams you're referring to, and if that even happens or doesn't happen. But they're clearly teams that have struggled through the years. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, I believe it. I believe. I've said this numerous times. I believe every fan in baseball should come to spring training thinking that their team has some type of chance to get to the playoffs. And if that's not the case, it's just not good for baseball as a whole. So, no, I don't like, I don't like uh, to see teams struggle mightily. And I certainly don't like it if I have, you know, I'm under the assumption or I have the idea that uh, they're doing it on purpose. It, you know, if that's actually ever happened or if that's actually the case, that that would not be something I would be happy about. If that's what you're asking. Hal, have there been any personnel moves, uh, trades, signings, lack thereof over the last few years that have gone away that, that have really stuck in your craw? Ones you wish you could get back? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I'd have to think about that. You're talking about trades that what, what exactly are you talking about? Trades that we we made that we we shouldn't have let the person go. Sure, e either either direction, either a move to get someone it didn't pan out, or someone you let go of yeah. and s saw them perform well somewhere else. Oh well, I mean, look, I mean, look at Sonny Gray, right? Uh, but I mean, that's just that wasn't happening in New York. He just he just was not thriving whatsoever in New York and you know there's there's going to be other players this is a difficult market to play in you guys know that better than I do um, so you're going to get some of that I mean look I, we can talk about the Montas trade so far has, it has not worked out right but uh, putting myself back to last year uh, I would do it again I mean we, we got rid of two minor league pitchers for a proven major league pitcher we knew he had injury history but he was healthy and uh, believe me I was in the middle of it all we do our homework and the medicals were actually, you know, better than uh, we thought they would be. So, but we knew we were taking a chance. Um, so, but that's something I would do again because you're getting somebody you can plug right in the middle of the line, not in the middle of the rotation. Do the, I mean, you mentioned the injuries. The team has to get healthy, and it's it's almost been uh, an epidemic of injuries. And I know that you and your family are spending a lot of money on sports science and stuff like that. You brought in Eric Cressy, but the injuries continue to happen. How frustrating is that, and do you wonder why? Well, it's frustrating. Um, some of the injuries sliding into a base, crashing into walls, not much we can do about. But it's the, it's the oblique and the hamstrings and the quads that drive me crazy. Uh, we did change a lot three or four years ago, as you know, by bringing in Eric and new strength and conditioning people and, and techniques that we do in the weight room. Um, but I, I'm going to meet with Eric this weekend when I'm in New York. Uh, you know, he just, he just uh, made up a report that I just got. And I've read a couple times, and we're going to continue to try to get better and better. I mean, I do know that this year we're above average with injuries. I think we all know that. But if you look at the last two years, believe it or not, we're pretty close to the major league average. Now, I want to be below average, obviously. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what areas can we improve in? And, and we're always striving to do that. We're never gonna, I'm never going to quit asking that question, believe me.